Hi everybody, it's Dr. Miller again. Hope you're hanging in there, I know it's tough. Um, so this video will be the first of several that I will make and post Sunday nights uh, to give you some answers to questions that have come up during the week and to preview the week ahead. They'll be hopefully pretty short. Um, so uh, one of the things that I will be doing is to post what my schedule will look like so that you basically know what I'm doing at all times. Well, not all times, like, you know, there's an entire uh, 11 hour stretch that it just says kids, but you can guess what that is. Ha ha. Um, <laughs> like multiple days, obviously, I spend more than 11 hours with my children. Anyway, um, so I'm going to be posting a video every Sunday. I will also, uh, you'll notice that there are going to be two new bulletin boards on Course Den. One is a quarantine board where we share resources and try to help um, with any of the issues that are coming up. Um, hopefully we can all be resources to one another and be helpful. Um, and the other one is going to be an accountability board. Um, we have a wide stretch where you can turn things in kind of at your own pace and self-pace. Um, so so I thought an accountability board would be a good way for people to kind of pop on there and uh, share how they're progressing toward their goals or even just to say, oh, I didn't get enough done today. And for someone to say, it's okay, you can. So that's what we kind of do in class. So this is a way to put that in text. All right, so that's a bit long. Um, I'm gonna transition now um, into a couple of things that are really important. Number one is my office hours are 9.30 to 12.30, Monday, Wednesday. I, my phone number is uh, posted on Course Den. That's my real phone, everybody. I mean, I know you're not dying to call me about things, but you know, it's there. Um, I would encourage you to text me first rather than just randomly call because I might not recognize your number. Um, so that's what I would do. Uh, so it's text, talk on phone, any kind of email. Um, and also we could do Zoom or Skype if you want to. So if not, like that's okay. I'm not gonna require it because I know people don't have a lot of data. Um, so that's one more thing. Um, the uh, other thing that I want to conclude with is to answer some of your questions that came up in that survey I sent out. And I would encourage you all to answer the survey questions as much as you can. Um, so uh, one concern was the past and present essay. I think people were a little nervous with what to focus on um, and were struggling a little bit. That'll be a great use of office hours and we can chat about that. Um, it has a lot of flexibility for you. Uh, I would encourage you to read the sample essays that I linked. Obviously those are already in their published form and what you do is gonna be um, you know, a first pass, and that's totally fine. Uh, so, you know, take a look at those, come up with questions, and contact me with the questions, because I like questions. Uh, and finally, uh, there were a couple questions about the annotation assignment for book five, and then for each of the final books of Clarissa. So um, the question was that when you click on Google Docs, it's two of the letters. It's not a bunch of the letters. It's a couple of them. And that's, that's my intent, because often what we do in class is we you know, close read some things as a group and we really get into it and we're like, oh yeah, look at that word over there and look at how he's saying this, saying that. Um, and in order to recreate that, I wanted to really focalize on some important letters, the very important letters, um, and be able to do some little close readings together. So I have some questions there. You can focus on the questions I've posted, or you can pick up on other stuff in the text and click add comment and add your comments and add your own questions. So I'm gonna monitor that and see how it's going. Uh, and I'll be in touch with you about that. So there's three of those total. Um, I mean, if you've already finished the book, hey, why not, right? You know, you're stuck inside, kind of like Clarissa, but is scarier in many ways. Um, so if you finish the book, you can do it whenever. Um, but I'm going to go through and check book by book and see how it's going. 
Um, but yeah, that's it. I try to keep these under five minutes and I'm about to hit five minutes. So I'm sorry about that. I know it's not that fun to watch your professors talk on YouTube. But I hope you're okay and I'm grateful for all of your hard work. I'm here to help. I'm here to support uh, and I miss you all. I hope everybody's okay and I hope you're surrounded by some kinds of comforts that sustain you. So have a good night. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.